for day seven notes, in this one you are subtracting polynomials. So for this, um, it's a little bit different. You are combining like terms, but you have to think of this as like a negative one right here in between the parentheses, and then you have to distribute that negative. Well, if you distribute a negative, that just means change your signs. So the first part here, Okay, the first part, it is going to stay the same. x to the third, 3x squared, and 5x. But here I need to change. So negative 1 times 7 makes that negative 7x to the third. And then I would make that a negative 5x squared. And then a positive 12. And then we would go through and go, okay, what's the biggest exponent we have? It looks like a 3. So 1 x to the third minus 7x to the third is negative 6x to the third. And then we have x squareds. So negative 3 minus 5 is a negative 8x squared. And then 5x has nothing to combine with, so I just bring it down. And then I have plus 12 because it has nothing to combine with either. So in part B, same idea, make this a negative, and remember you're just changing the signs of the second set of parentheses. So the first one stays the same, and the second one becomes a negative x to the third, a positive 2x, and a negative 11. All right, so here, my highest expo exponent is a negative um, x to the third, and there's nothing else that has an exponent of three. So I bring it down. Then going in descending order, so three, two, exponent of two is um, negative three x squared. And again, I can't combine it with anything. Then I have x. Looks like I have a negative 4 and a positive 2x, so that makes, po or that makes negative 2x. And then I have a 9 and a negative 11, and that makes negative 2 once combined. Okay. Down here for the bottom part, it says you try, add or subtract the polynomials, write each polynomial in standard form. What is the name of the polynomial based on its degree and number of terms? So for this one, I need to go ahead and add my like terms so I don't have to change anything in this problem. And so I have um, highest exponent is a 3, and that would match up with 2x to the third. So 8 plus 2 is 10x to the third. Then I'm looking for an x squared. So negative 5x squared and 2x squared makes negative 3x squared. Then I'm looking for an x, and I don't have an x. So now I go to my constant, or my number, and I have 3 minus 9, which is minus 6, or negative 6. So by degree, that's a 3, because there's a 3 right here. Exponent of 3 is my degree, and that's called cubic. And the term is also 3, because I have 1, 2, 3 terms, and that's a trinomial. Okay. In part B, this is a subtraction problem. So remember, there's like that negative 1, and we have to distribute to everything. So the top stays the same. The bottom, we change our signs to be negative 6x to the fourth, positive 3x to the third, and negative 5. So looking at my biggest exponent, I have a 4, nothing to combine with, so I'm just going to bring it down. Then I would go 3, and nothing to combine with that one. Then 2, nothing can combine with that one. Then x. And then lastly, 10 minus 5 is positive 5. So by degree, that exponent is a 4.
four is a quartic. And we have one, two, three, four, five terms. Five terms we classify as a polynomial.